Hello guys, Making Magic here, and today I have a very exciting tutorial for you. We'll be creating a super hot if you ever played a game. It's a very exciting game, very, very cool. Uh, it's an indie game made in Unity, and we'll be creating its slow motion mechanic. So open up Unity, and let me just show you how we how the final result will look like. So when you move the time stays unpaused but when you don't move this time is paused is kind of paused so let me just blow one of the cubes so you can see yeah it's uh, physics are behaving weird when I have this mechanic on so it's not perfect, you know, uh, it could be better, but you know, it's a start, it's a great start, I guess. Uh, let me just change that, uh, show you again, I'm just gonna change that to 0 0.1 time scale, so. It works better if the time scale is not as bad, as low, and when I move, the time sets, it's a real time, you know, it's time scale is equals 1, when I don't move the time scale equals 0 0.1 so uh, yeah let me remove the script and let me just show you the script and I will just add the script I won't be adding how to make those cubes uh, explode if you want me I can make a tutorial on this just say it down in the comments below it's not hard just just just, just say it I'll make a tutorial and provide the prefabs for you just say I can do anything for you if you want so not anything that would be weird right but I guess a lot so um, let's uh, add the script to our let's just take a look at the script okay first uh, how is it called uh, I think it's super hot okay so let's just open it up I'll be quickly explaining just one function one uh, one order to her. So variable slow motion is how much our time dot scale, our time scale will be. Variable real time is just is mostly you can set it to whatever you want. This is when the character is not moving. Uh, but it, I set it to one because I want it to make us as, as close as the super hot mechanic. So in the function date, if input get key down W time to time scale equals real time so if the character is moving our time scale time scale means with actually the length of the time so uh, short the time is I mean short the time is in like if you we would objectify it uh, bigger the slow motion is longer the time is, is as an object uh, lower the slow motion is so equals real time that means that it equals one I have it set to one you can set it to whatever you want and time fix the delta time equals 0 0.02 time scale so that's just actually I don't know if I understand this right it's just to make everything more smooth I read about that on unity I don't quite understand it but I guess mostly and uh, let me just show you one of the slow motion functions when you unpress your button if you input get key up s time to time scale equals slow motion and that means that it equals whatever you set it if you set it to 0 0.3 0 0.1 that's a very high slow motion so uh, then when you not be moving the script will set the time scale to whatever number you like but um i'm i made this script i made every single button uh, a function for every single button i mean the, the, the you know the time scale in every single button because uh the axis just didn't when i was using if you if you get axis down just wasn't doing it was just wasn't doing well so I choose every single button to define every single button every single key 
every time so yeah let's just close it down and add it to our first person controller or booker i have it from my package my bioshock bio package you can download if you want but it's not as good as you would expect uh, mostly graphics so just drag it on your first person controller let me just remove this window this and I'll set the slow motion to 0 0.1 and real time to 1 okay so when I press play if I if I shoot, let me just shoot, I won't be including the shooting script, you have so many on the internet, so if I move and, but if I don't move, as you can see it's everything is in slow motion, but if I do move, the time scale is equal to 1, so everything is in normal motion, I would say, so let me just blow that cube up. I think it looks really well. You can use this in stealth games. It would be it it makes a great mechanic in games. It's just such a wonderful idea they got in at Super Hot Team. So uh, I just recreated this. And if you want to just copy the script uh, from past bin, I'll be including the link in description. Paste it in JavaScript file. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any requests, just note me. I'll do it probably. And uh, yeah, love you guys and bye.